Hey, what's up guys? My name is Kevin and welcome to my unboxing video of the new iPad Pro 11 inch 2021 version with the M1 chip. So it's right here. I ordered it last week and it just arrived today. So I'm excited to unbox it and start using it. So main reason I bought it because um, I have an iPad, uh, an older version right here that I use. And this one is the 2017 version, the regular iPad. And you know, it's done its service. It's uh, batteries is, is, you know, it's draining pretty fast and it's slowing down a bit. So I think with the new M1 chips, it's the perfect time to, to buy a new iPad. So let's jump right into the unboxing video. There it is, the brand new iPad. So it's the 11 inch version. So it's the smaller one of the two. The other one is 12.19. Take this out. Move this out the way. So here it is, it has a nice weight. I think it's about one pound or half a kilograms. And yeah, it's easy enough to hold with one hand, so I really like that. So yeah, I was thinking hard on which one to get, if it's either the 12.19 or this one. I ended up choosing this because I like reading on it as well. And actually my sister has the bigger one. And for me, that one seemed a bit big. So I ended up going with this and I'll try it out and see how I like it. Um, but yeah, so my plan on with this is basically using it for things like video editing, also taking notes, reading. I like to have it next to my laptop um, to have the, like for example, if I have like a Zoom meeting or a team, Microsoft Teams meeting, so I just put it on there. So my laptop is, uh, is in basically using that capacity. So I'll set this up a bit later and set this aside for right now. Let's check out what else does it have. So I'm guessing it has, for example, uh, the manual, startup guide, things like that. Probably some stickers as well. And also, yeah, the charger. So it's using USB-C. And you can use it as a transfer cable as well and then charge it. So, and I think that's about it. Yeah, it's pretty minimal minimalistic, the packaging nowadays. So... Now let's let's go back to this. So let me set up my face ID. So after setting everything up, this is it. I love how sleek it is when you just move it around. Basically, my old iPad it wasn't this uh, fast. I know the like the refresh rate for this one I think is like 120 hertz. So it's definitely much faster. I can't wait to see what like how they utilize the M1 chip. So how fast all the apps are and basically doing anything on this. It's basically going to be faster than my my MacBook Pro, so <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see how it speeds uh, speeds through things. While well, my uh, MacBook is lagging behind a bit, but yeah, looks good so far. So I've been using my new iPad for a couple of days now, actually more like a week, and I love it. It's amazing. Like I've been using it for for you know just bright browsing the internet watching uh movies or series um you know using the note uh note taking app and and i'm even ed editing the video that i'm shooting now right now with this uh with the ipad so there's a lot of capabilities and i'm really enjoying it and as you can see i got a case for it so that came in and also the apple pencil so this is the spec uh balance folio case uh i'll show you how it looks so basically, the, yeah, this spec is the same brand that I had for my uh, previous iPad, and you know, I was really satisfied with the, with this brand, and so I was like thinking, you know, I can't go wrong with this. Um, so this is how it looks closed. It protects the pencil on the side, and the camera is also protected. And the way you way you open the camera up or take the cover off is you push this down. Basically, it has uh, a magnet right here and here to hold it in place. So when you want to shoot uh, videos or take a picture, 
basically that's what you do and if you don't then it's all protected so that's really nice uh, let's open it up and yeah uh, so the case is really good one thing that uh, I would have preferred is maybe a magnetic one like it's using kind of like a um, like a poppin kind of a you know binding right here to hold it in and also to close it and the like there's kind of like a ridge for the apple pencil right here and it kind of makes it kind of like a uh, less symmetric so maybe something if this wouldn't have been there having kind of like a, a magnetic flap to wrap around the pencil would have been better but honestly besides that it's it's a really good case and I, I just it's you know it protects the ipad a lot which is really needed so yeah um yeah let's look at the the apple pencil so once you start once i start using the screen it actually opens the note taking app and let's look at uh yeah, let's just write something here so it basically knows that you know you're using the pencil and it's not going to react if you use your your hand only if you you move it around or if yeah if um so if you just write like this it'll, it'll know that you know you should write but if you use the pencil like um what's under your hand is not gonna you know write anything so that really that's really nice and also has um it's pressure sensitive so for some of the tools at least so let's look at this one the highlighter tool so if I go like this, you know, it's really light. And if I press down harder, it's going to be uh, dark. So that's really good. And it also has like an angled way to use some of the tools. So the highlighter one, for example, you could yeah, write like this straight up. And you could also go really sideways and you can make, uh, you know, with wider strokes with the highlighter. So that's really nice. And same pressure sensitivity is there as well. So... Uh, so all in all, I'm really happy with the with the iPad. So yeah, really oh, uh, overall, I'm really happy with this uh, with the iPad. You know, I'm glad I, I bought a new one. The old one was you know getting kind of slow, and you know with the M1 chip, uh, I think it's you know it's really fast and it's gonna be um, you know amazing to do video editing and everything. I know some people uh, complained about uh, the new there was the conference the WWDC where it showcased that they're not really going to make the iPad kind of like used as a MacBook. Honestly, I have a MacBook and I bought the iPad basically just to use an iPad. I don't want to replace my MacBook. Being a developer, you know, I need a good keyboard um, to, to, to do, to write code and, you know, program. So I bought it basically just for, yeah, note taking, video editing, reading. So just an all around, you know, lighter um, uh, tool to use in my workflow productivity. Yeah, sometimes it's so hard to close this. Um, yeah, but yeah. So honestly, I could recommend it if you if you're looking for an iPad. Um, definitely, this is something to consider. You know, there's also the the bigger size, which I think was about this big. That's twelve point nine inches. And yeah, I was contemplating a lot after I got this. Maybe this would have been too small. I should have gotten a bigger one. But honestly, after using it, uh, this is a really comfortable size. Like it's easy to hold with one hand, and yeah, it's just very, it's a very really versatile tool. Like you know, you could lay down and basically just hold it above your head, or you know, whatever kind of uh, position you're in. Um, but yeah. Oh, and one more thing I want to show you, and another reason I got this case was the viewing angles. So it has these ridges where you could place in the the iPad and basically have that uh, viewing angle. Yeah, there's some uh, there's magnetic right here to hold that in place. But yeah, basically you could have, you know, uh, almost kind of vertical like this um, and then step by step going more down. There's also one more. I'm actually not sure how to do that, but it's basically like a, a typing one. So it'll be something uh, like this, but actually I'm not really going to use that one. I bought it mainly um, having these ones right here. So yeah, this was my unboxing video and just uh, telling you about my experience the first week of using uh, my iPad with the Apple Pencil and, and the nice case. So I hope you like it. You know, leave comments below if you have questions and uh, thanks for watching.